Hi guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. So it's Monday. I'm actually doing this on Monday. I'm so proud of myself. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a rainy, dreary Monday here in Southwest Ohio. Um, so my lighting might be a little bit, eh, you know, not great, but we're going to do this anyway. So we are up to letter U and I am, it just hit me like uh, how close we are to actually being done with this. Um, it, it has felt like it's taken a really long time, but now that we're, you know, to letter U, I'm like, wow, it's, you know, it's about over. So anyway, letter U is for uncolored, um, or, you know, as you can see here, things of the neutral variety. And I have lots of ideas. Um, and I'm hoping that at least three of them I can get done in the allotted time. We will see. Um, <laughs> I'm going to try to not overthink it. Um, my new friend, Jamie, um, that, uh, is, she has a YouTube channel, but she doesn't, she isn't, ha doesn't have anything, um, current uploaded right now. But Jamie, if you're watching this, you need to, uh, you need to start this challenge. I think that would be a great way for you to get up and running again. Um, anyway, she was at my live on Saturday and she challenged me to, uh, stop overthinking things basically. Um, and I'm going to try and remember that today. So maybe that will help me get through this. So I have a bunch of stuff that is just um, very neutral. I have um, some neutral laces and um, I'm going to kind of move things off to the side here. Um, you know, just some, some neutral pieces, laces and such. Um, I have some netting. You can't probably see that at all unless I do that. Um, and, you know, I have some applique pieces here and I don't you know I I have a plan but we'll we'll see how much of this we actually use I took this off of a dress or um something um but it's like an applique just another this came off of um I think maybe a pillowcase or something um I've got some of my fabric ruffles in a neutral color um I've got a piece of like I'm going to call it muslin, but I don't really know if that's right. I've got some other pieces that I've taken from, you know, like crocheted doilies and clothing. I've got some cheesecloth, uh, some buttons, um, some other, you know, fabric pieces here. Um, whoops. I've got a needle and thread ready as long as I don't lose it. Um, I have some of this here. And yeah, I'm just trying to kind of organize by type of thing so that I don't get overwhelmed while it, once I turn the timer on. I also have three um, like cream colored whoops, um, envelopes. Uh, that's the most time consuming idea I have. And then I have a bunch of um, book pages and sheet music and just, you know, tea and coffee dyed papers. Um, this actually I won't use because it actually has color on it. You know, whatever. It probably doesn't matter. But um, And I have some very old dictionary pages here that I thought would work for um, collage purposes. We will see. Um, I really think I've probably overextended myself <laughs> with what I have planned. But um, we're going to go for it anyway. Uh, yeah. All right. So let's just do this. So we're five minutes in already. All right. So my idea with, you know what, I'm going to save that for last because <laughs> I feel like that's, what's going to put me over. All right. So the first thing I wanted to do was, um, a cluster of sorts and, um, I'm going to use this piece of muslin and I'm probably going to use a piece you know what, maybe I will save the muslin for that other idea. Um, let's see if I can... Oh, that worked, yay. Whoops, sorry, I just shook the whole camera. Um, I'm just gonna tear off a piece of this. 
And actually, you know what? I'm just gonna double it up so it's a little bit thicker. All right, so let's just do this. I'm going to make a cluster. I'm going to let's see. Do like like that. And this is gonna be really quick. I think. <laughs> Yay for really quick. Uh, let's see what else could we put in here just to give it something else. Let's use some of the netting. Maybe some cheesecloth. This is actually uh, doubled up, but I think I'm okay with that. Let's put that here. Just want to make sure everything gets gets grabbed when I sew. Okay, let's just do this, I say. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, it's just a piece from something. It's okay. No worries. I don't care. As long as, as, long as I can sew through here, I'm happy. Um, Wow, I just got really quiet. I'm trying to freaking <laughs> find the buttonhole. Oh my goodness. There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I hope you guys had a good weekend. Um, I had a very good weekend. Let's see. Saturday was amazing. Um, if you guys missed my live stream, um, I'm going to do it again this Saturday. I hope you can make it. Um, we had so much fun. Everybody got to boss me around and tell me what to do. And, <laughs> and it was a blast. Um, I learned so much from everybody and I got so many neat ideas and inspiration and it was a blast. So I am going to do it again on Saturday and I will try to do it um, every Saturday that um, my husband has to work basically. Um, and if I can't you know, if he's not working on a Saturday, then I'll do it on the, you know, that Friday. But um, yeah, it was so much fun. Um, one more time here. Let's see if I can. There we go. All right. And I'm going to leave my strings long because I like how that looks. All right. Look at that. A very neutral cluster. Very cool. I am really digging that. All right, next is, I don't want to run out of time. So next, my thought was a, um, a fabric flip. I have this piece of gorgeous, like eyelid-y uh, sort of trim. Um, we could use this muslin. Uh, I'm going to cut this down. It's going to be a very rough uh, cut <laughs> because, yeah, I'm not, not going to do any kind of measuring or anything because if I start doing that, I'm just going to run out of time. Um, yeah, so that was Saturday. And then yesterday, uh, we, took, we took the puppy to a dog park. And had a blast. It was so nice and warm. It's a little windy for my uh, liking, but he had so much fun um, just, you know, running around and playing with the other puppers. So that was nice. I know that piece of muslin is a bit uh, short. 
under there, but I don't think that I want, I think I want it underneath. I don't want it. Um, yeah, I think I'm okay with that. And maybe I'll cut this down just a little bit more so it's not so odd. And then it can just be like a flip, you know, where you flip it and you see new things. I'm going to put this on top and I'm going to fold it over and I think I'm just going to staple that I would normally sew it but in the interest of you know time all right uh let's see what could we put there to kind of cover up the staples maybe or maybe it doesn't matter I don't want to do it with that or we just won't be able to see the pretty the prettiness at all um yeah you know what I'm not gonna worry about it because I only have I could do buttons you know what they're not very far away hold on one second box here. I should be able to find one that will work. It's a little small, maybe. How about this one? That'll work. Okay. No worries. All right, let's get the Fabri-Tac. So, yeah, um, we've had this trip to Florida planned for quite a while. Um, so we're going with my parents, and uh, it's to celebrate my husband's 50th birthday, which was um, almost a month ago, but... Um, yeah, anyway, we've had it planned for a while, so it's not like, you know, it, it shouldn't have snuck up on me. However, yesterday, um, my husband reminded me that it's only, like, it's less than two weeks away. Like, we only have one weekend um, in between now and when we leave, and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, I'm not prepared at all. Uh, yeah, cool. So it kind of, um, I kind of went into panic mode a bit because that's, that's what I do. Um, and yeah, so we're leaving for Florida in less than two weeks. Um, I'm excited. I'm super excited. All right. So here is our little fabric flip. I've got that pretty piece and then some tea dyed muslin and then that other gorgeous little piece of lace and they're all very different fabrics. And then you've got some fabric up top and then three little buttons. All right, I like that. Let's set that aside. Yay, okay, I have 20 minutes left and I think I should be able to do this, hopefully. Um, let's make sure that I do it correctly. All right, so my, my goal is to make this sort of like an accordion um, booklet. So it'll fold up like this and you'll open it and then, no, no, that's, I don't want to do that. Okay, no accordion. We're just gonna, we are just going to do it normal here, whatever normal is, right? Uh, I'm just going to glue the flaps to the backs of the envelopes. And then make like a little trifold. Try and make sure I line it up. 
will, I'm going to leave just a bit of space uh, so that it will um, fold up well, right, like that. And then now I'm wondering, should we just, should we just do two in the interest of time or should I go for it? Oh, I don't know. We're just doing two. I don't want to run out of time and I want to be able to kind of um, decorate this. Okay. So we have our openings here. Uh, this will be our back and this will be kind of our front and this will be our little flappy bit. Um, so what I want to do is Wow, that is almost perfect. Just need to cut like a sliver off of the bottom of that. Wait just a second. Maybe I cut a little bit too much, but that's okay. All right, I'm gonna leave the jagged edge here because I kind of like that. And then I'll use my tear ruler. I mean, that's my plan if I can, you know, get my act together here. <laughs> that and just a little notch in the middle there all right now the glue I'm going to add to the envelope, not to the paper, because I don't want to glue it down. Um, I don't want to, you know, glue my pocket shut, right? That's good. glued down here. All right, cool. And now we have a little pocket here, right? And then we'll do the same thing over here. Um, let's use this side. And again, I just need to take off a little bit. I like this edge better. All right, 
right, so that'll go there. And glue. What I think that the trying trying to get the glue out is the most time consuming part of most projects. <laughs> At least uh, that's how I feel about it. Oops, come on. Oh, you can move. There you go. Um, yeah, I feel like oh, trying to squeeze the glue bottle is what is what gets me every time. All right, kind of like this. Uh, colorless neutral idea um yeah it's pretty cool actually something different and it's kind of nice you don't really have to think very much um I, when i was you know pulling pieces out to use i was like well this is very freeing um <laughs> i don't have to think very hard all right, now we need to cover this flap with something. Um, I do have this piece here, um, and I don't mind too much if it doesn't cover the whole thing. Um, so we need to take it off right about here. And right about here. Like that. And this time I'm going to put the glue on the paper. Uh, just because it's, it's smaller than the envelope flap. That way I don't have to guess. Come on, glue. How is it that I have like half a bottle left and I can't get it to come out? Maybe need to thin it with some uh, acetone. All right. Cool. Now, this is going to be like our cover, right? So, definitely want to use uh, some doily because I think that'll be pretty. And maybe um, we can just take some oops, dictionary page here. Here's, here's where, like, under 10 minutes, and it feels like the time just flies by. So I just need to be aware of that, because I think I'm probably going to run out of time, but oh well. All right, let's see.
All right, I'm just chucking stuff <laughs> across the desk. Oh, okay, glue, you have to be good for me. You know what? We're gonna do Fabri-Tac on the outside and glue stick in the middle. See, Jamie's probably yelling at me right now. Sorry, Jamie. So bad at this. <laughs> Just have to be careful because this paper is really old and I don't want to tear it because then I'll have to start over. All right. Only problem with using glue stick is it doesn't move as well. Oh, crap. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Pardon my mouth. All right, there we go. Now, where did my, oh, it's right here, geez, okay. Uh, let's just go ahead and cut that off. There, and yeah, glue stick, I think. My glue stick is being weird. Glue stick and a little bit of art glitter glue just on the edges. I'm worried about that glue stick. It's being kind of weird. Good enough. Sorry, I'm over here on the side. Where, how in the world did I get glue stick on the outside of this? Oh my. Ugh. Sorry, I have glue over here, so I'm trying to, um, I'm going to wrap this around. That was another awesome, uh, idea that my live stream, uh, friends had. Just, you know, then you don't have to worry about cutting it. You're probably going to cover it up anyway. All right, so... Um, there's, I need to do something with the flap, right? And I think, do we want a ruffle? I think I want ruffle. Ruffle, yes. All right. Cut it right about here. And we need a fabric tag for this. Oh, yeah. Come on. I'm not going to worry about the back. Just pretend like it doesn't exist. <laughs> I'm not going to have time to do anything with that, but I still think this is going to be pretty cool. So let's do that and then Honestly, we could no, nope. It's okay. We're just gonna leave it plain. It goes against everything in me, but that's what we're gonna do. Oh, did I glue this? Oh no, Emily. Oh, seriously. Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> Don't wrap it around when it's a uh, trifold because you'll just glue the whole thing shut. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> uh, yeah. Three and 30 challenges. I lose my brain. All right. 
it's fine. It doesn't matter. Okay, but I want something here. And I'm thinking, thinking about this, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Um, maybe we'll go this way with it. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I think I kind of like that. All right, hopefully we have time. Hopefully, we've got three minutes. I don't know. My glue is misbehaving if this will work or not, but we're gonna try. All right, come on. So I'm gonna try and do uh, some pre-filming um, between now and when we leave for Florida so that I have some videos, um, you know, scheduled to upload while we're away. And yeah, hopefully that'll work. All right. Oh, I like that a lot. That's cool. Sorry, I'm working kind of over to the side because I'm gluing here and I don't want to glue the whole thing to my to my mat now. Oh, I wish I had. Hmm. That is cool. I know I need to do more in here, but I don't have time. I only have a minute. A minute is not long enough for anything, right? Let's just... Let's try. And then, what else do we have? Oh, goodness. Look at that, guys. Wow. I'm sort of impressed with myself. <laughs> How did I um, accomplish that? Like, wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, there. Look at that. I did it. I sort of did it. I mean, I got it done. Um, whether or not, you know, I would actually use it in its current form. Um, probably not. I think I would probably add uh, some things to it, but technically I finished it and it's not horrifying. <laughs> so, all right, guys, look at that. I'm proud. I'm proud of myself. I did it. And we've got a gorgeous fabric flip. You know what? Honestly, we could, um, the fabric flip could like go inside here, right? And then our little cluster 
could go here. It's probably going to make it way too fat, so probably not that. But yeah, I mean, we could do that. That could go here. And then we've got one whole piece. Oh, I really like that. Oh, will you bear with me and let me glue it down and show you? Because I'm super excited now. <laughs> we're just, we're going to go over. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I got the three pieces done. This is just added bonus because I think it's going to look super cool. Yay. Oh, I love this. This is awesome. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Isn't that funny? That is not at all what I had planned. But man, I think that's so cute and so shabby chic. Okay, I don't have I don't know how much time I have um <laughs> before this cuts off again. I apologize. Um it just something glitched or something and my phone just decided to stop recording. Anyway, I was just showing you like my idea. Um, if you put this, since we didn't decorate the back, um, if you put this on, you know, a page in a journal, um, you could even, you know, just have it be like a, whoops, um, like a flip, a flip out sort of situation, right? Or um, you could decorate the back um, and, you know, make it its own little piece. Um, yeah, I just was saying that and then it cut off and I just wanted to, you know, not leave with an abrupt ending. All right, guys, I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous day and, uh, and I will be back soon. Um, yeah, hope you find a way to, um, treat yourself today and, uh, take care of yourselves guys. Talk to you later. Bye.